The January 6th committee hearings are resuming tomorrow as voters head to the polls for primary elections in Virginia and primary runoff elections in Alabama and Georgia. Now, the Capitol insurrection and President Trump's false claims about the 2020 election have been among the among the biggest issues this campaign season. NBC News contributor and Sirius XM radio host Mike Muse joins me now for more on that. Mike, I know you've been covering these races a lot on your show. And like many other Republican primaries, Virginia GOP House candidate Jerome Bell says he believes the false claim that the 2020 election was stolen. And he even says the people he falsely claims are responsible should be executed for treason. What kind of traction are these false claims getting with voters? Hey, Diane, good to see you. Uh, it's getting traction out there. The idea that this narrative is getting covered, we are all covering their primary races very intently. Uh, the American public now recognizes the power of their vote. Uh, so the American public is following these elections. And so when you have individuals who are seeking elected office, who are continuously promoting this narrative of the big lie that the election was stolen, uh, it can't help but seep into the mindset of many Americans. We live now in the age where politics is now becoming, in certain set areas of political hallways, cults of personalities. And so when you have individuals continuously saying it over and over and over, eventually it begins to seep in for those individuals who want to believe uh, that the election was stolen and they want to believe it's so. And so if it keeps being repeated, then ultimately a lie can become the truth. Now, a new ABC News Ipsos poll finds that nearly six in 10 Americans believe former President Trump should be charged for his role in the insurrection. What do you think the political implications of that would be if it did happen? Would it change minds or just galvanize supporters even more? I think it will galvanize supporters even more, but those who are elected currently to office can't allow that to stop them. They must be the gatekeepers of our democracy. Our democracy is fragile. Our democracy has always been this gentleman's agreement. And so we need those ind individuals to make sure we protect uh, our democracy. And that democracy is the belief in what our founding fathers envisioned America and it's a great experiment to be. So in spite of any indication that it will galvanize the supporters even more, they have to go forward and do it in order to protect our democracy. Because I am, think about it, uh, even you take an individual like James Marchand, who is Republican nominee for Secretary of State in Nevada, he won on this narrative of the big lie. He won on that this election was stolen. He could potentially, if he wins the general, oversee the elections uh, that would take place in Nevada. And that is just how fragile we are in the state of our democracy. So they must move forward with that. Now, and as we celebrate Juneteenth, Mike, how do you see race and racial issues in America playing out in the political climate right now? You see it now, Diane, through policy. Uh, you see it through the restriction of voting rights. Uh, you see it with individuals not having access to the poll at large. Um, and so now you're starting to see it through the policies uh, that were there. Before, there used to be uh, very racism, used to be in your face. It used to be very tangible with signs, colored section only, white section only. Now we're seeing it with elected politicians who are putting these isms through the lens of policy and political discourse. And so that is the danger that we have to be mindful of, is to make sure racism don't continuously creep up in the form of legislation and policy. And having access to the polls is a great example of what individuals are doing to make things more restrictive. All right, Mike Muse, always great to have you. Thank you. Great to see you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.